From the highest prices in a decade to the biggest weekly fall, the 2018 petrol cycle had it all. We have crunched the numbers and can now tell you which suburb won the battle of the Bowser. It's been a roller coaster year of petrol prices for Sydney motorists. Now the annual figures are in and it's the independent service stations offering us the best value at the Bowser. Independents are trying as much as they can to keep the boards low, to get more cars in the driveway um, and keep a, a fair price for the customer. Fuel check data obtained exclusively by Nine News found Metro Sefton in Canterbury Bankstown was the cheapest this year, with an average price of $1.10.9 a litre for E10 fuel. Across the city, Caltex at Mount Cola had the most expensive petrol, with an average price of one fifty-six cents a litre for E10. Sydney metropolitan area, um, the land costs are huge, so the rents are high, they have to recover that money. BP had three of the cheapest stations, one on Carrington Road in Randwick, two more in Fairfield. As for the independents, the West is best, with Blacktown and Guildford stations among the top options. Caltech stations were among the priciest. Here in Cogra, motorists are paying $1.17 a litre, but in the city's north and east, they're being slugged an extra 40 cents a litre. So the message is simple. Don't be a petrol snob, shop around, and you can save yourself hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. Don't shop around, but I won't go the extreme of travelling 10, 15 kilometres. In this country, we go for value for money. And if, if you know, whatever's available to us at the time, we take. So that means the average family driving a sedan will save $1,500. Imagine the amount of Christmas presents you could buy with that. Dooley Snook, Nine News.